Hey everybody, Jay here. Today we're going to build a bridge out of this trailer load of sawmill cutoffs um, that we got for free. So yeah, stick around. Should be fun. I guarantee you've never built a bridge like this before. All right, everybody, Jay here. Again, we're back out in the woods here. We're going to lay down... Um, what we're going to build is a corduroy logging road. Um, if you don't know what that means, um, sometimes when people are excavating in certain areas, they will lay beams down for the excavators to drive on. I'll see if I can attach a photo here. But basically, um, we're going to do something like that. And I want to thank, uh, a while ago, I posted a video asking for help in a Ritter Bit Will Do um, YouTube channel. Great guy. He gave me this recommendation on building a corduroy logging road. So anyways, let's show you where we're going to put this. And yeah, let's get the Kubota and let's start dumping some sawmill cutoffs down here. Okay, so this is our trail we've been building. Uh, you guys have been following along. This is our logging road. We still need to um, do some box blade work and whatnot. A couple small stumps I missed. But anyways, right here, basically right where I'm standing, um, this ground's a little bit soft. So what I want to do is, is I want to lay down some um, pine sawmill cutoffs so I can get in and out of here year round because this area holds water. You can see right about where the vegetation changes, that's where it gets goes back up to high ground. So I want to fill this area in with that whole trailer load, maybe even a couple trailer loads of sawmill cutoffs. So let's go ahead and get the Kubota with the bucket forks and let's bring some uh, pieces down on here, down here and start uh, Start laying them down like cribbing. It's gonna be great. Now, if you recall, I remember saying in a previous video that, um, if you recall in a previous video, I said to you pieces that have two flat sides, I've been holding on to, and it's exactly for this reason. So let's grab a couple of these, drag them out into the woods, um, and then we'll show you what we're gonna do with them for the bridge. All right, so as you can see, we got about three loads of, I don't even know what you call it. We got three loads of cutoffs laid down. As you can see, I'm walking on it now um we're making our way there now what we got we got these two these uh pieces here have flat sides on both sides we're gonna drag those out and lay them and screw them down that way that'll hold all those together and it'll also disperse the weight traveling over with the four-wheeler this bridge is mostly for the four-wheeler i don't really like taking the tractor out in the woods it's really tight we have a lot of soft spots as you've seen 
So this trail is basically for uh, the four-wheeler and the wood cart. All right, so let's grab one of these, walk it out. Kind of see how this will go together in a second here. That's kind of it. Pretty neat, huh? Let's go grab the other one. So you get the idea, right? It's pretty neat. So why don't we go get one more and um, the screw gun and some screws and we'll put it, we're just gonna put a couple placeholder screws, if you will, um, to hold it in place. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Wide enough for the four wheeler, wide enough for the tractor. I'm gonna make it wide enough for the tractor. Um, if I ever get the four wheeler stuck or the four wheeler breaks down, at least I can get it out there. So yeah, I'm happy with it. It's ugly, but it'll work. Okay, so we got two more flat pieces dragged down. Keep, keep in mind, I'm dragging this stuff far away into the woods. It ain't over the hill to Grandma's house. Well, we're gonna swap this. Put the thicker one on the outside. The tires will most likely be. That's pretty neat. All right, so have a look at that. That came out pretty nice. We got one, two, three, four, five top pieces. Uh, all kind of puzzle piece in here. We flip this one over, give you a nice transition onto the deck. But yeah, let's go ahead and sink a couple decking screws in this and we'll be ready to keep motoring all right it may be ugly but I'm happy with it all I want to be able to do is get the four-wheeler out here so again over time these will break down and I could just come out here and drop more boards on top of it so we got about quite a ways to go but I don't think it, I don't consider this a waste of lumber. Kevin's house with the sawmill, he's got a huge pile that I don't even have room for anymore. We're good for at least a couple of years and he's gonna be milling pretty much indefinitely. He's got all types of jobs lined up. So anyways, um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Again, this area holds water for a while. Um, come, you know, um, rain season and spring, so. These boards will be able to get me in and out of the woods uh, all season long. I don't want to wait three months for this section to dry up. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, we'll see you next time.